It's finally here. After first being announced in 2009 as a PlayStation 3 game, The Last Guardian has emerged for the PlayStation 4 in 2016. And the reason this game's so in demand is because it comes from the mind of director Fumito Ueda, otherwise known as the guy who gave us modern day classics like Ico and Shadow of the Colossus. But can The Last Guardian possibly live up to its impossible expectations? As with Ueda's previous games, the narrative itself is shrouded in mystery. You play a boy who wakes up in a forbidden land and stumbles across a giant dog slash bird slash dragon beast known as Trico. In a sense, The Last Guardian feels kind of like Ico too, but with the roles reversed. This time around, you play the weaker character who your partner has to bail out of trouble when the going gets tough. Like Ico, The Last Guardian is a game about getting from point A to point B with two characters who possess very different abilities. The boy is small, quick, and smart, well, as smart as you are anyhow, while Trico is huge, strong, and can leap some pretty long distances. And while a lot of the boy's tasks involve manipulating their environment so Trico can overcome certain obstacles, Trico also acts as a living, breathing platform. Often, you need to climb on his back or hang off his tail to reach the next area. Much of the game involves gently ordering Trico around by pointing out things in the environment, but he's a pretty smart pup without your intervention. While you'll need to give him some guidance, often, he'll start sniffing around a suspicious area on his own. Thankfully, the developers have made it incredibly easy to connect with your feathered companion. He's cute, he's attentive, and he often saves your bacon just by snatching you out of the air before you can splatter against the ground. There's a lot of observational details packed into Trico's design and animations, which may even remind you of your own pets. With The Last Guardian being a Fumito Ueda game, it's very focused on a singular idea. Keeping with a minimalist approach, The Last Guardian is free of distractions. There's no collectibles, no leaderboards, and no microtransactions. And what little combat exists in the game exists to show you the powerlessness of your character. The few times you encounter enemies, you don't fight back. Instead, you find a way to let Trico take care of them before you're captured. Some players may feel alienated by a lack of true action, but it's refreshing to see a game focus on what it does best, rather than check a marketing box that might help it sell better. While The Last Guardian didn't exactly live up to its high expectations, it's hard to think of another game that could. While it's a touch disappointing that Fumito Ueda didn't go for a wholly original idea, this update, and at times, subversion of the eco formula, still makes for an incredibly fun experience. In the end, The Last Guardian is a charming, polished game that provides an experience no one is really making anymore. And now with The Last Guardian out of his system, maybe Ueda can finally move on to his next big idea? Hopefully this time, it won't take almost a decade. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to visit Fandom for more great videos and our full written review of The Last Guardian.